So this is going to take you through all the steps for a cumulative frequency graph. We'll do this one in class. We've done some. This is just extra if you need a little extra help on any of the processes. Um, I tally the cumulative frequencies down here and you get that 5 is your first one. 5 plus 13 is your second one. 5 plus 13 plus 17 is your third one, etc. This bottom total should be the total in your list. It doesn't say the total in my list, so it's worth adding. I double check that. Key here, you're going to plot for your points, you're going to plot the right endpoint of the interval and the cumulative frequency, not the midpoint. The midpoint would be as if we're doing the average. So we, we plot all these points. So I look at my graph, I know I'm going up to 116 on the y-axis. Um, so this is kind of a small graph. So I'm gonna go by 20s. You wanna to try to go, you wanna to try to fill in as much as you, stretch it out as much as you can. And then on the x-axis, uh, I'm just going to start with 35 and go by fives. I'm kind of off my screen here, sorry. Go all the way up to 65. And then I'm just going to plot the point. So the first point is 35.5, somewhere in here. I'm going to pause this and plot these points in a little bit. So 10 is there. 5 is probably right down in here somewhere. 40, 18. I'm very approximate here because my graph's not very big. So I plotted the rest of the points. Again, I'm, I'm using a stylus. It's not very easy. So the, the lines aren't real crisp or the points. You can be a little more accurate, but you want to connect them with a nice smooth curve. So now I can go about answering some of the questions. It says, how many CDs were in the sample? That's 116. And that's my total over here. What percent of the CDs are at least 50 minutes long? You can use your table. At least 50 means 50 or more. So that's 27 plus 18 plus 7. So 52. Use your calculator to estimate a mean playing time. So to do that, in one list, doesn't matter if it, what the name of it is, you want to put the midpoints of all of these. It's hard to make decimal points here. And in the other, you're going to list the frequencies, not the cumulative frequencies, because I'm, I'm doing an average. So we're going to do that all the way down. And you're going to do one variable stats. List one, list two. Some of you have a list one here and a frequency list two. And that will give you the estimate of the mean. I'm not going to calculate that right now. I don't have a graphic calculator on here. What is the modal group? The modal group is the one with the most uh, frequency, the most often occurring group, and that would be 45 to 50. And then using the cumulative frequency graph to answer the following. So uh, I'm going to just try to mark on here as best I can. So it's a different color. So first of all, the median, that is 50 the 50th percentile. So if I have 116, half of that uh, would be 58. So I go to 58, over, down, 
Again, you have a better graph probably. Roughly 48, my median. My lower quartile, if, I, if 58 is my median, half of that is 29. So it's the median of the bottom half. My upper quartile, I can go 29 up, so it would be 87. About 55. This one's about 43. My inner quartile range, I'm going to subtract the 43 and the, it's like about 56. So 56 minus 43. That's the range, it's 13. And remember that interquartile range relates to the spread of the middle, so it's related to the median. Okay, now 70th percentile. 70th percentile means I need to take 70% of so 0.7 of 116. So I'll multiply that out, and that's going to give me, and you, you can round it to the nearest whole number. And that's about 81. So somewhere really close to 80 because my graphs, and that would give me around 52. Again, plus or minus 2 because we crammed this thing together so well. So about 52. 15th percentile would be to take 0.15 times 116. Which is 17.4, it's way down here, over and down. Roughly 38, somewhere in that range. What percentile is 52 minutes? Okay, so this is one where I'm gonna go from the x-axis up and over so 52 minutes is on the x-axis so 52 is about right here up and over we're going to say that's 80 we'll say uh, 80 out of 116 it's really close to half not quite half so Or sorry, a little bit more than half. Sixty-eight point nine six, which is rounds the nine up, so it's sixty-nine sixty-ninth percentile. You write the word percentile. How many CDs were at least forty-three minutes? So at least forty-three minutes means 43 or more. So I, I need to find 43 on here, which I was pretty close to write in that lower quartile. So that lower quartile value was about 30. So that means there are, everything else is above that because it said at least, so that means greater than. So 116 minus 30 is about 86. And you should see if it makes sense. Um, 43 minutes is somewhere in here. So you ought to be able to add all those plus part of the one category and see if they're right. So if it would have said less than, then I would have just taken the 30. But it says at least, so it's greater than or equal to. So things to think about, keeping the frequency. If you're making it from scratch, plan your scale out. Try to stretch out the axis as much as you can. You know, we didn't have very much graph paper here. But the, the more you can spread it out, the, the more accurate your graph will be. If you're using one that's already made, then you just got to make sure your lines are straight.